Can Yi Heng Wang actually win worlds, or will Max Park get his revenge from 2019? And how about other events? Will there be any big upsets? Using statistics, I made an algorithm to predict the podiums for every event in this year's World Championships. So let's jump straight into these predictions. With multi-blind, I have Siobhan Bunsell at 3rd place. He broke the multi-blind world record back in 2018, but hasn't seen that much success after that. In 2nd, I have Yu Cheng Chen. I didn't know who he was, but he broke the Asian record recently with an insane 51 out of 54, and has been improving crazy fast. But it won't be enough to beat Graham Siggins, who dominates the competition with a predicted 57 points. He's the defending champion and a world record holder with an incredible track record, so there's no doubt in my mind that he's winning this event. For 5 blind, I have Ezra Hirsky getting 3rd with a time of 2.56, and I don't see anyone catching up to him. But in 2nd, I actually have Stanley Chapel. He's the defending champion and also is very consistent, but he recently lost his world record to my predicted champion, who is Hill Pong Yong Feng. I have him beating Stanley by just a couple of seconds. His improvement is insane, and he has some pretty crazy times at home, so I think he's actually the favorite. But the podium I have for 4 blind is completely different. In 3rd, I have Graham Siggins. It's hard not to pick Manuel Gutman, who is third on the psych sheet, but I believe the model picked Graham for his extensive experience in this event. Second is Hill Pong Young Feng. He beat Stanley's 5 blind world record, but cannot quite get close to him in 4 blind. I think Stanley wins 4 blind comfortably. He's shown too much experience and dominance in this event, so I think he'll keep this world title. But square one's going to be much closer. In third, I have Hassan Kanani. He got his PR last week with a low 5 average, so mid 5 is no issue for him. In second, I have Max Shaw. He's the world record holder and has the first ever sub 5 average in square one. But I think Samir barely edges him out with a lower 5 average. In another model, it predicted something similar, but flipping Max and Samir. Considering they tied at US Nationals for average, it must be a close match between them two. Skub is a story of redemption. In third, I have Simon Kellum. He won Nationals this year with an impressive average, but I think the next two have something more to prove. In second, I have Zayn Kanani. For such a long time, he has been a world record holder for Scoop, but I think he barely loses to the current world record holder, Carter Kukala. After not winning Scoop in Nationals this year, I think Carter has the motivation to get the world's title this year. But in Pyramix, we have our first podium with no Americans. In third, I have Ling Kun Jiang. He hasn't competed much, but his improvement has been insane, and with competitions finally coming back, I think he has a lot more to prove. In second, I have Elias Ayu who has been putting up incredible times recently, including a 1.67 average. He also DNF'd out of a 1.5 average, which is pretty crazy. In first though, I have Sebastian Lee from Australia. He's first in the psych sheet with a 1.56 average, and has experience competing in the finals with him being the current Oceanic Champion. Megaminx, however, seems to be a battle of first and second. But in third place, I have Nicholas Nang. He won nationals this year and has plenty of experience in championships, but I think the top two are just too good. In second, I have Tristan Chua Young. He just broke both Asian records in the event, and I wouldn't be surprised if he did that again at Worlds. But first, by the slightest margin, is world record holder Leandro Martin Lopez. His profile is stacked with records, and he has proven time and time again he's the best. But with a different model, here's the result. OCR holder Alexander Vucic actually gets third, with a PR of sub-30. And here Tristan barely beats Leandro, with a 27 average. Either way, this is another event to look out for the top 2 competitors. But if you're looking for an underdog story, check out this predicted clock podium. And third for this podium is Caleb Trofford, but I'm not sure if he's going, so next would be Vishwa Sankar, the current North American champion. Second is actually going to be the current world record holder, Tommy Cherry, with a 3.82 average. Yes, he just got the world record in the finals at Nats, but I don't think the pressure from the world championships would let that happen again. But first, it's Zaid Chowdhury with a 3.74 average. This is crazy as his current PR is 4.22, which is 5th on the psych sheet. But the reason why he's projected to do so well is because he's more consistent than other cubers like Tommy. Not using 7 simul might be beneficial in the finals, and flipping the clock is safer since DNFing is such a huge thing to worry about, and consistency is so much more important. My other model is a bit more safe with Tommy winning, but I think this event's podium is very much in the air. For one-handed, we have Dwayne Ramos in third with a mid-9 average. I believe this would put Rue in the world's OH podium for the first time ever. Second will be Max Park. He's the defending champion, but there is someone who has several results better than him. That person is first, Patrick Ponce. US Nationals didn't go exactly as planned for him, but he did get the world record in the second round. With that momentum, I believe he can win this coveted title. In another model, Dwayne might actually beat Max for second place. 
but Patrick still retains his first place title. With both models choosing him to be the favorite, I won't be surprised if he wins. But what about a three-way tie for world champion? That's what my model predicts for FMC. In first place, it predicts a tie with a mean of 21.66 between Chong Wen Wang, First Shin Fushuda, and Jade McNeil. They are all top FMC solvers, with Chong Wen Wang having the current Asian record, First Shin being the reigning FMC world champion, and Jade McNeil holding the world records for this event. I think it's quite unlikely that they will tie, but if they don't, I think this order still makes sense, with Jane McNeil being the best of the three. Three Plane is also an event with an unexpected winner. In third is Charlie Iggins, who is third on Psych Sheet, so this makes sense. But interestingly enough, second is actually Stanley Chapel. This is probably pretty unexpected, but if anyone had the capability of popping off during a major, it's him. Even more surprisingly, is first place being Elliot Koblansky, meaning the world record holder Tommy Cherry doesn't even make the podium missing out by just 0.17. Elliot recently lost his world record to Tommy for 3 blind, so I can see him coming back for revenge and winning his championship. My other model seems to be more realistic, but yet again Elliot is the favorite. No matter what happens, this event will definitely be one of the most exciting ones to watch. But speaking of the exciting events, let's get into the end by ends. For semi 7, third is actually Lim Hung tied with Timon. Timon is the best in Europe, and Lim Hung has the former Asian record. Second is the current Asian record holder, Sung Hyuk Nam which makes sense as he's second in the world for this event. And obviously first is Max Park, dominating this event by over 10 seconds. And my other model, Kiran Bihan actually sneaks into the podium instead of Timon and Lim Hung. So this third spot is definitely up for grabs. This is similar with 6x6, with Sung Hyuk Nam predicted to go third. Second is actually Timon here, which also makes sense with him being second in the world. Finally is Max Park, dominating yet another big cube. My other model predicts that Dong Su Park from Korea will actually get 3rd instead of Sung Hyuk Nam, so we'll see which of these Koreans will actually get this spot. 5x5 five five is almost exactly the same, Sung Hyuk Nam in 3rd, Timon at 2nd, and Max 1st. With Max Park breaking his world record at Nats, he's definitely ready to defend this world title as well. And the other model, Kai Wen Wang from Taiwan, actually gets 3rd here, so this is yet again a pretty close fight for this spot. 4x4 four four is actually a lot closer. At 3rd, it's Timon with a 22.29 average. Felix and Nam are ranked higher than him for average, but he's just so consistent. Second is Sebastian Weyer, defending his second place title. And first is yet again Max Park. I think my other model's prediction is much more interesting though. Third, it has Sebastian, but where it gets crazy is predicting Max getting second and Timon getting first. While this sounds pretty crazy, if you compare Max and Timon's 4 4 averages, there are times where Timon does win. So if the parodies align correctly, this is an unexpected possibility. For 2x2, second place is tied between Yi Heng Wang and Alexei Svetkov with a 1.57 average. They're second and third respectively in the world, and both have insane turning, so this makes sense. First though is Zane with a 1.48 average. Honestly, this does seem pretty slow, but with nerves I think it's possible that times for this final might not be as good as we think. The Alzheimer model's prediction is pretty interesting though. Third, Zane. 2nd Alexi, and Yi Hang winning by a mile. While this is hard to believe, I think this is possible if he controls his nerves better than everyone else. Finally for 2 3 I'll be going over the top 5. In 5th place is Luke Garrett with a 5.62 average. After a solid performance at Nats, I think he's proven himself to do well under pressure. 4th will be Rei Hang Shu. I really thought he would be higher with his insane turning, but the talent level at this competition is way too high. Third will be Timon Kolchinski. While he's an incredible competitor, Timon just hasn't done the best at Major Duo 3 Finals. For example, he got second at Euros and second at the UK Championships, losing to Patrick Pont and Max Park respectively. Second by 0 0.01 is Max Park. While it would be amazing for him to become world champion again, I think Yu Hing is just too good, winning this competition with a 4.94 average. I hear a lot of people saying Yi Hang won't win because of his age and inexperience. But I have to agree with this model saying that he would win, and win potentially by a large margin. He's been to so many competitions and has gained a ton of experience, not just in head-to-head -head finals, but also in world record situations. So he definitely knows how to deal with nerves. In addition, he's way ahead of everyone else. Just look at the top results to see how dominant his times are. Even in the alternate model, it's surprising that Max Park is on podium, but Yi Heng is still on top with a 4 average. I think there is a chance that nerves do get to Yi Heng, but the fact that he's so skilled might just overshadow that fact, which is why I pick him to win this year's world championship.
So, see you guys after the competition ends, and let's see how well these predictions age.